This episode of Monster Mono Review, we have Dirty Donnie's Too Much Kit, produced by AMT Round 2. I'm your host, Rob Madison, and on this episode, we have contributing artist, cub reporter, Phil Kupka on the scene, building and painting this awesome kit. This two-headed goon stands nine inches tall, including the base that measures six and a half inches wide and four inches deep. It comes in 13 solid resin parts, a short chain, eye hook, small curved wire, and a sheet of decals, all neatly packed in styrofoam. After washing all the parts to remove any mold release residue, Phil assembled the figure and attached the skateboard and headstones to the base. All the pieces of this kit fit together so nicely that very little putty was used to fill in the gaps that were there. As with most of Phil's figure kits, he likes to replicate the colors used on the kit's box art. He uses acrylic craft paints to achieve this result. One thing Phil doesn't use are decals that come with some kits that he builds. He'd rather hand paint those details onto the figure. One of the decals that come with his kit is a dagger, which the modeler would apply to the hat on one head. Rather than using the decal, Phil fashioned a small dagger out of some scrap styrene, drommeled out a little hole in the hat, and inserted his 3D dagger. The Too Much kit comes with a wire handle for the pumpkin bucket and a section of chain to connect the handle of the Morning Star with its spiked ball. After all the painting was done, and after he glued the figure and the pizza to the base, the kit was done, except for a coat of Krylon matte finish 1311 to seal and protect his paint job. Another Dirty Donnie kit that AMT Round 2 produced is Pinball Punk, seen here built and painted by Terry Beatty. These two kits fit somewhere between the weirdos and the finks and are still a ton of fun to build and paint. I know these are out of production right now. You can find them on eBay. You can also look at culttvmanshobbyshop.com. If you want to see more reviews, how-tos, and artist profiles, check out monstermodelreview.com. Look for us on Facebook. I've been your host, Rob Madison, and thanks again for watching.